Proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is Eyewitness News. Good morning. It is Tuesday, October 12th. I'm Sean Coffey. We're getting a check of our forecast now with meteorologist Logan Westrup. And Logan, for at least a few more days, we're enjoying those temperatures into the 70s. Yeah, definitely a warm stretch that we have, and that pattern will continue once again for today, especially after kind of a cooler start, but temperatures still above average for what we typically see for morning lows into the lower and mid 40s. We're starting off this morning once again into the 50s, even lower 60s. But once we go into this afternoon with those clouds breaking for some peaks of sunshine, temperatures reaching back into the low 70s, still a few degrees above our average for this time of year of 65. So today with your eyewitness weather forecast, those clouds will break for some sun and temperatures today reaching into the lower 70s. Small chance for a stray shower for today into tomorrow. Most of the time will stay dry. As we go into Thursday, looking for a good mix of clouds and sunshine. Temperatures into the mid to upper 70s, Sean, as we go into the end of the work week. All right, Logan, thank you. A Lehigh County man is behind bars on charges he stole cooking oil from two local restaurants. 20 year old Stephen Matos was brought back to Luzerne County to face felony charges. Police say he was caught stealing cooking oil from the American Grill in Exeter and B3Q Smokehouse on Wyoming Avenue last week. The thefts were caught on camera at both locations. In video from B3Q, Matos is seen allegedly stealing the oil, then ramming his van into the restaurant owner's vehicle to get away. He was arrested by police at his home near Allentown over the weekend. Matos faces theft and assault charges. So far, his accomplice has not been identified. Scranton police are looking for a suspect in connection with a weekend shooting. Police are looking for 28 year old Chiron Sapp. He's facing multiple charges, including attempted homicide, burglary, and trespassing. Police say Sapp broke into a home along Harrison Avenue early Sunday morning. When officers arrived on scene, they found a gunshot victim. If you have any information on Sapp's whereabouts, contact police. That does it for now. More eyewitness news and weather on air and online throughout the day. But for the latest top headlines and on your forecast, head to pahomepage.com.